South East Communities Rail Partnership is a community interest company which works with partners across Berkshire, Surrey, Sussex and Kent, supporting a number of lines. The North Downs Line, Arran Valley Line, Sussex Coast Line, Tunbridge to Rygate Line, Seaford to Brighton Line, Uckfield to Oxted and East Grinstead Line, Marshlink Line, and now we are pleased to adopt Hastings to Tunbridge as a new community rail line. The Hastings to Tunbridge or 1066 line was constructed by the South Eastern Railway between 1845 and 1852. Diesel trains replaced steam in 1957 with the line electrified in 1986. The line passes through the beautiful high wheeled area of outstanding natural beauty and the heartland of East Sussex in Kent. Many of the stations were designed by William Tress in the Italianate and Gothic styles. Hastings is the southern terminus of the line where visitors can explore the historic fishing quarter enjoy the attractions along the seafront, a stroll in the Victorian Park or take in the clifftop views. Hi, I'm uh, Keith Glazier, leader of East Sussex County Council and chairman of transport for the South East. It's a pleasure to be here in Hastings this afternoon to welcome the new community rail partnership uh, for the South East and say how important it is to us to continue working with uh, this organisation uh, and how important it will be for the communities up and down the rail line. There are two stations at St Leonard's. With its well laid out gardens and seafront, it appeals to both day and weekend trippers. Crowhurst is a quiet village once devastated by Normans before the Battle of Hastings. Set between Battle, Hastings and Bex Hill, there are a wealth of activities organised by local residents. Battle Station is a real architectural gem. It serves the historic town of Battle, famous as the site of the 1066 Battle of Hastings and the location of Battle Abbey. The station is Grade 2 listed and is considered to be one of the finest Gothic revival stations in the country. The Abbey was built in 1067 by William of Normandy to commemorate his victory there. The High Street has plenty of character and interesting shops with easy access to the 1066 Country Walk. Roberts Bridge is entirely contained within the high wheeled area of outstanding natural beauty. From Roberts Bridge, the Rother Valley Heritage Railway hoped to open the line to Bodium and Tenterton. Etchingham is home to the Bistro, created by Etchingham CIC. The Bistro is located within the beautiful stone-built Grade 2 listed station building. The community works with partners to renovate the once partially derelict building, opening a Bistro and meeting place in 2010. It's in the gardens of the Bistro that we held a small event to celebrate this new community rail line, with speakers supporting our new venture. The SCRP has long held the ambition to form a community rail partnership on this line 
and we are very pleased and excited as this is now coming to fruition. The new rail partnership links two of our established community lines, the Marsh Link line, which runs between Ashford and Hastings, and the Red Hill Rygate to Tunbridge line. We are delighted to be forming a new relationship with South Eastern Railways and thank them for this opportunity. This initiative, the sort of community partnership is so vital because we've got to get people back on our railways. You know, there's two reasons why I want people to get back on the railways. Uh, firstly, because it keeps our railways running and I'd absolutely love our railways. But secondly, it's good for the environment as well. I think it's an absolute pleasure, as Hugh said, that um, South Eastern, we're partnering uh, with South Eastern Communities Rail Partnerships to, um, to do the CRP. It couldn't have come at a better time, as Hugh mentioned, um, with the railways and communities. Um, they go hand in hand and um, to get confidence back in the railway, working with Community Rail, um, I think that would be a wonderful thing for us. We know that the creativity, the inspiration that communities bring, the power that communities have, I think would be a wonderful thing for South Eastern and the actual line between Hastings and Tunbridge will only benefit. This is an historic day for the uh, Tunbridge to Hastings 1066 line with, with the uh, founding of the, of, the, of the new CRP and, and I'm honoured to be serving as uh, the chairman. We're, we're part of the uh, National Community Rail Network and our, our aim is to encourage local communities to engage with the railway and the railway with local communities and we want to promote social inclusion and sustainable travel. Uh, we're going to work alongside the train operator to bring about improvements and bring stations back to life and we want this line to uh, be bringing more people to this area so uh, the visitors can, can come and see the um, fantastic sites uh, that, that we have available. I'm really excited to get going. There's so much potential. We've already been up and down the line filming for our, our new line launch video so we can reach out to more people than we were unfortunately able to um, bring with us today. Our first plans are to look at where communities join with the railway. We'd also really like to promote the tri train scheme so to get people who perhaps have some kind of barrier to wanting to travel by train um, and would need some encouragement or assistance um, to do so and that works really well meeting with station staff taking a train trip um, to a destination. Hello my name is Peter Wilkinson I'm the Managing Director of Passenger Services at the Department for Transport and I'm delighted to welcome the Hastings to Tunbridge line as part of the South East Community Rail Partnership family. I'm really passionate about community rail projects all over the country and put a great deal of time and effort into supporting them because I really believe in that social license to operate and you are central to that equation. So look, welcome to Hastings and Tunbridge and I hope you have a fabulous success story ahead of you. I'm Jules Townsend, I'm Chief Executive of the Community Rail Network. Our work is all about supporting and championing community rail across Britain. Um, so we are very excited to hear about the launch of the Hastings Community Rail Partnership today. We now have more than 70 community rail partnerships around Britain, all of them unique, all of them working to respond to local needs, um, champion uh, local opportunities and feed into rail partners what's, what's important and, and how they can serve local communities to the best of their ability. We are looking forward to hearing about the work that you're doing to help us play our role, sharing good practice across the community rail movement, um, helping community rail partnerships and groups to learn from one another um, and getting the message out about the important work being done. Moving up the line, we come to Stonegate. The station serves villages in the surrounding area with views across the Rother Valley towards Burwash Weald. Located at the crossroads of two Roman roads, originally the station was named Witheringdon. This was changed to Ticehurst Road and finally to Stonegate. Wadhurst is a historic market town in the High Weald, which boasts over 40 clubs and societies. The original signal box was removed in 1986 to Northiam to be used on the Kenton East Sussex Heritage Railway. Grant Station is located in the hamlet of Bells U Green but serves several surrounding villages. 
At the height of the iron industry, much of the village was owned by iron masters. The historic spa town of Royal Tunbridge Wells has welcomed visitors for over 400 years. Enjoy shopping in the Pantiles and take a trip on the Spa Valley Heritage Railway from the Old Tunbridge Wells West Station. High Broom Station, just north of Tunbridge Wells, was originally named Southborough and serves this community. The station building surprises visitors with its beautiful wooden panelled interior. Tunbridge, on the River Medway, has been a market town since the Middle Ages. Tunbridge Castle is close to the station. From the castle, you can pick up the Tudor Trail cycle route to Penshurst Place. East Communities Rail Partnership would love to hear your ideas for community action as we begin our work on the beautiful Hastings to Tunbridge line. I, I want to wish you well, I want to see you succeed, I want a partnership with you as well so that I can actually help in any way I can as the local MP here or as the chair of the Transport Select Committee uh, and let's make sure that people celebrate their railways and use it again as well, so thank you. Three, two, one. Three.